Skipped to content four years ago, Blake Burzel arrived at Laguna Beach High as a score-first freshman searching to make his mark. As Burzel's high school basketball career came to a close in February, there is no questioning the place he carved out in Breakers basketball law. Burzel scored at will during his fours at Laguna Beach. In his final one, Burzel earned the Daily Pilot Boys Basketball Dream Team Player of the Year honor because he developed into the ultimate team player. The 6 foot 6 guards 2250 career points and 224 career three-pointers rank first all-time in school history. He also holds the program's single game record for points 49 set during a win over San Bernardino Cajon as a junior during the 2016-17. As impressive as these individual accolades are, however, the team accomplishments compiled during Burzel's senior campaign are what he will remember most. One of the biggest growths he made was learning how to share the ball and be a part of a team. That was the thing I remember most about him this year. The Breakers recorded a program best 25 wins in the 2017-18 regular. It is no coincidence this historic run came as Burzel made the greatest growth of his Laguna Beach career, evolving into a selfless leader on the court, trusting his teammates and finding joy in their success. He came in as a freshman with a scoring mentality, Laguna Beach coach Brett Fleming said. One of the biggest growths he made was learning how to share the ball and be a part of a team. That was the thing I remember most about him this year. Just watching him smile after throwing really good passes, and knowing that what was making us good was his ability to be a willing passer. Burzel showcased his all-around game. He averaged 21.4 points, 7.4 rebounds, 3.2 assists, 2.2 three-pointers and two steals per game this, earning him all SIF Southern Section Division 3 AA and 4th Team All Orange County honors, and a share of the Orange Coast League MVP award with teammate Charlie Runagi. Laguna Beach went 10-0 in Orange Coast League play, closing out the program's tenure in the league on a high note. The Breakers will move to the Sunset League next. Burzel looks back on a pair of in-season tournament championship games as his fondest on-court memories from his last. The first came on December 2, as Laguna Beach downed Aliso Niguel to win the Grizzly Invitational at Godinez High. The next followed two weeks later, as Burzel led the Breakers to a revenge victory over Orange Lutheran in the Charlie Wilkins Memorial Tournament title game at Westminster High. Laguna Beach High's Blake Burzel pushes past Aliso Nagel's defense during the Grizzly Invitational Championship game at Godinez High on December 2, 2017. Drew A. Kelly with Aliso Nagel, I grew up playing with Harminder, Darley Will, Dylan, Dickerson, and a couple other guys on the team, Burzel said. It was a good rivalry, and they're buddies, so it was a big win and we got to show them who is boss. For Orange Lutheran, we got beat by the Lancers in the first game of the tournament. They're in the Trinity League, so it's a big deal when a little public school beats a Trinity League team. That was a big win for us. Unfortunately for Burzel and the Breakers, they ended much earlier than anyone around the program anticipated. After a wildly successful regular, Laguna Beach, the number two seed, was upset by 29 Palms in the second round of the SIF Southern Section Division 3 AA playoffs. The Breakers lost 57-54, finishing 26-4 overall, one win short of tying the program's all-time record of 27 victories, which was set during the 1961-62, the last time Laguna Beach won a section title. As disappointing as the early exit was for Fleming, watching the end of a journey for this group stung the most. Bittersweet would be an understatement, said Fleming, whose team exited the postseason in the second round for the second straight. I'm still not over it. The week afterwards, I was having a tough time shaking it. I thought we lost before we should have for sure, but I kind of figured out that what I was upset about was that the journey was over with these kids. Some of these kids I've known since they were in third or fourth grade. Blake and Charlie were both four-year varsity players. It was rough to lose, especially when I think it was our own fault that we lost, and probably could still be playing. But that's how it goes. You have March Madness, and there's going to be upsets all over the place. The hope is that you aren't the one getting upset. While his time on the hardwood for Laguna Beach has run its course, Burzel's athletic career is far from over. He is a standout pitcher for the Breakers, and after decommitting from Duke last year, is headed to Arizona State to play baseball. As Burzel embarks on this journey, he will carry over some of the lessons learned on the court over the past few years. In particular, the team-centric mentality he developed as an upperclassman.
basketball helps a lot with being a leader and learning how to take a game over, and that carries back over to the baseball field, said Berzel, who helped Laguna Beach win a SIF Southern Section Division IV baseball title, the school's first section crown, two years ago as a sophomore. When I'm pitching, I can carry the team and do my part. If something happens, I know my teammates will be there to have my back and make up for it. You can't do anything outside of yourself, so you just have to keep pushing your teammates. They obviously don't want to make errors, but the worst thing you can do is put them down. You learn to keep grinding and doing the best you can do, because that's all you can control. While Berzel's bright future on the baseball diamond is undoubted, there is no denying his passion for the game of basketball. And although his competitive career in the sport has reached its end, Berzel acknowledges that the game will be forever ingrained in him. From championship victories to making lifelong friends, his career at Laguna Beach has ensured this. I just love playing the game, and getting to play with those guys made it even better, said Berzel, who is also the Breakers' all-time leader for career rebounds with 814. When I look back on my time at Laguna Beach, I'll remember all the fun and laughter and winning the championships games. I don't really care about my records. All I can remember is all the fun that I had. Coach Bob Torribio led Newport Harbor High to its first Sunset League title since the 1979-80. Scott Smeltzer, staff photographer Torribio is a true sailor. He played for the program in the 1990s, served as an assistant in the 2000s, then took over as the head coach during the 2012-13. When Torribio got what he called his dream job back then, many thought he was dreaming when he said he would turn things around at Newport Harbor, which was coming off its fourth straight with an overall losing record. Torribio steered the program in the right direction. Each the sailors improved, and in the latest one, they were rewarded with a big prize. Torribio guided the sailors to their first Sunset League championship since 1979-80. Newport Harbor, which shared first with Edson at 8-2, claimed its first league crown since winning the Seaview League in 2001-02. Torribio led the sailors to a 21-7 overall record, becoming the eighth team in school history to win at least 20 games in a one of those victories came in a 68-67 double overtime win against rival Corona Del Mar in the Battle of the Bay, ending the Sea Kings' nine-game winning streak in the series. The win marked Newport Harbor's first over CDM since 2005-06. Marina High's Jakob Alamadoun averaged 21.4 points, 8.6 rebounds and 2.5 assists per game as a junior. Scott Smeltzer, staff photographer Alamadoon turned the Vikings, who only won three games in 2016-17, into a winner this. Marina finished 16-12 overall and 5-5 in the Sunset League, good enough for fourth place and an at-large entry into the SIF Southern Section Division 3A playoffs. Alamadoon's 23 points led the Vikings to a 72-50 route at La Quinta in the first round, marking the program's first postseason win since 2008-09. The 6-foot-4, 194-pounder averaged 21.4 points, 8.6 rebounds and 2.5 assists per game, and made 87.4% of his free throws. The junior earned all SIF Southern Section Division 3A, first-team all Sunset League and third-team all Orange County accolades. Pacifica Christian Orange County High sophomore Dominic Harris, left, earned all SIF Southern Section Division 5 AAA honors. Scott Smeltzer, staff photographer G, Pacifica Christian Orange County, so. The Gonzaga commit put the Tritons on the map during his time at the school. Harris plans to transfer out of Pacifica Christian at the end of the school year to Temecula Rancho Christian, which is closer to his home in Murrieta. The six-foot four-point guard averaged 24.5 points, 5.7 rebounds, 2.7 assists and 1.5 steals per game this. A year after leading the Tritons to their first SIF Southern Section Finals appearance, Harris took them back to postseason. Harris received all SIF Southern Section Division 5 AAA, 5th Team All Orange County and 1st Team All San Joaquin League recognition. Harris is a repeat Dream Team selection. David Atencio Zero helped Edison High win a share of its second straight Sunset League Championship. Scott Smeltzer, staff photographer whenever the Chargers needed to make a big shot or a defensive stop, Atencio was their guy, and oftentimes, he delivered. The six-foot-two senior point guard led Edison, to a share of the Sunset League Championship for the second straight. 
He averaged 13.6 points, 4.5 assists, 5.2 rebounds and 1.3 steals per game, sharing the Sunset League MVP award and making the All-Orange County fourth team. Edison almost pulled off an upset at top-seeded Oak Park before losing in overtime in the second round of the SIF Southern Section Division I playoffs. Atencio, a two-sport standout, also made the dream team in football. Corona Del Mar High Senior Kevin Cobrine's best game was a 37-point and 27-rebound effort at university. Kevin Chang, staff photographer the high-flying Cobrine always puts on a show for the Sea Kings. The 6-foot-5 senior led the team in almost every statistical category, averaging 18.8 points, 10.5 rebounds, 3.9 assists and 1.6 steals per game, and he shared the top spot with 1.3 blocks per game. His Best overall performance came at university, where he scored 37 points on 15 of 23 shooting, grabbed 27 rebounds, blocked two shots and had two assists. The UCLA men's volleyball commit made the All-Pacific Coast League first team and the All-Orange County fifth team as a basketball player. Cobrine is a repeat dream team selection. Sam Baylor hit some big shots for Newport Harbor High, which beat rival Corona Del Mar in the Battle of the Bay for the first time since 2005-06. Scott Smeltzer, staff photographer Baylor keyed the Sailors' breakthrough regular, which included semi-final appearances in the Grizzly Invitational at Godinez High, the Tartan Classic at St. Margaret's High and the Century Elks Holiday Classic, their first win over Corona Del Mar in the Battle of the Bay since 2005-06, and their first Sunset League title since 1979-80. The 6-foot-3 junior hit a 38-footer at the buzzer to send the Battle of the Bay into overtime, as well as a jumper to beat Los Alamitos in a league finale. Bela shared the Sunset League MVP honor after averaging 10 points and 5 assists per game. Ocean View High 6-foot-9 senior Mechel Harvey produced three triple-doubles as a senior. Don Leach, staff photographer thanks to the 6-foot-9 Harvey and his 7-3 wingspan, the Seahawks reached the quarterfinals of the SIF Southern Section Division 3 AA playoffs. The senior center averaged 17.6 points, 13.4 rebounds, 5.7 blocks and 1 steal per game, earning him all SIF Southern Section Division 3 AA and 4th team all Orange County honors, and a share of the Golden West League MVP. Harvey, who recorded three triple-doubles this, led Ocean View to its third consecutive undefeated Golden West League crown. Coach Roger Holmes said Harvey has committed to William Mary, an NCAA Division I program in Williamsburg, VA. Harvey is a repeat dream team selection. Position, name, school, year G. Paul Head, Ocean View Senior. G. Nico Dasker, Costa Mesa Jr. G. John Humphreys, Corona Del Mar, so. F. Dane Chalmers, Newport Harbor Jr. F. Spencer Servan, Edison Sr. C. Josh Phillips, Edison Sr.